There are so many videos telling you different export settings for Instagram. To not drag this long, obviously make sure your timeline is in vertical mode. For the format, either MP4 or QuickTime works. There isn't really a big difference in quality between one or the other. The main reason why many people use QuickTime is because they're in the Mac ecosystem. So it works a bit better on it, or so they say. So if you use Mac or Apple products, just use QuickTime. For the codec, use H.264. For the resolution, make sure it's vertical on 1080 by 1920. If you export at a higher resolution, it will be recompressed, and we don't want that. And then use the recommended 30 frames per second. For the quality, set it up to be between 20 and 50,000. There's whole range works, so just test things out and see what works best for you. If you go lower, it will look like crap. But if your file size is too big, it will be recompressed again and it will not look as great. If you have the rate control option, select constant bitrate. Usually you can leave the color space tag and the gamma tag to be the same as a project. Now make sure these three options right here are not checked. And one last thing, if you have subtitles, make sure you go down here click export subtitles and then select burn into video. Try this out and see if it works for you. And here's a freeze frame so that you can take a screenshot and not have to rewatch this whole video again.